Hey everybody, Doug Mark, President of Learning Zen here. And uh, I'm here to just kind of introduce a, a blog post that um, we're gonna send out to people this week. And it's all about how you can utilize your learning management system during this downtime. And while your business is evolving and changing, um, I think you have a competitive advantage because you have a learning management system. You have a way to disseminate training information and policy changes out to your community, stay in contact with them, and I believe that that investment in your business and your staff and your employees and your processes is going to return that revenue. And we're just going to kind of defer that revenue right now and get that back later. So when we start thinking a little bit about what's going to happen when things start, you know, coming back to normal, um, you know, are, are you losing key staff members and subject matter expertise from people that you unfortunately had to let go? Um, do we need to capture that information and get that into our training materials in the future? Um, it's a great time for us to have our employees kind of, you know, be sharpening the saw or enhancing their skill sets. So if you've got things like soft skills training, um, this is a great time for employees to be taking those courses and, and thinking about you know, enhancing their skill set. So when they return, they're going to be operating at the optimal level moving forward. And that should be great for your customers, your employees, and for everyone. Um, we know that instructor led trainers are, are meant, you know, most of them are grounded right now. And it could be that you're paying them full time. So now the time now is the time where we can really be investing in those uh, courses that we've built before. And, and maybe we need to think about delivering them in a different manner. If we're used to doing those instructor-led in person, we need to think about capturing some of that information, maybe on video. You can still use your trainers. Um, they're still going to be able to be recording videos and enhancing your materials. They can build, you know, quizzes, exams, videos, um, games, infographics, revive your text materials as well. There's, there's a lot of things that they can be doing right now. And that investment in your materials should help you when things start settling back down and getting back to normal or whatever that new normal is. I don't think any of us know exactly what that is right now, um, but you will be better prepared for that because you can pivot and you can shift and you can create training and disseminating all of that training to wherever geographically dispersed your locations are. And I think that's, uh, that's going to give you a, a real advantage. Um, we're all dealing with changes. I mean, restaurants are now, you know, doing curbside um, pickup and delivery, and maybe they didn't before. Do you have the training material built to teach your employees how to do that correctly, the way that you want it done, the way that's safest for everyone? And along those same lines, you know, has cleaning changed? You know, how we're going to do the store shutdown at the end of the night, the opening, what's the cleaning that's happening, you know, after each client visit, um, after somebody comes to the counter, what are the things that we're doing that's really changed and evolved. And you've got to get that material out there to your people so they know what those expectations are. Reach them geographically anywhere that they are. Um, I think we're all dealing with a lot of policy changes right now. Many people are dealing, you know, with work from home now and they didn't do that before. Do you have a work from home training course? Do you have a work from home policy that you want people to sign off on? That's something that you can really get into play very quickly. If you, you know, have questions, our team is always here to help. All we're thinking about is how do we help our community? How do we help the community as a whole as well? So um, I think that, you know, making that time investment today should turn out to be a monetary uh, return in the future. And I think that's a, a really big thing to be thinking about, whether that's, you know, you're doing, you know, refresher training or changing your policies or building new courses. I think that that return will be there. And that whole notion that we are, you know, planning for the future, um, we're, we're handling the present right now, but we're also thinking about the future. If you're seasonal, you might not have as much time to onboard. Um, so you're going to need to have your materials ready that people could take those training courses from anywhere. We have a, a responsibility when it comes to a lot of the safety courses from our seasonal businesses. Um, but that notion that we are, you know, planning for the future, it, it's going to build confidence and, and, and hopefully the, the staff will understand that, you know what, um, this is the challenge today, but it's not what it's going to be like in the future. Our company is planning for the future. You can see that. So we all believe that there is a future. 
And we all as business owners know that there is one. We don't entirely know what's going to change between now and then. Um, the landscape will be a little bit different for a lot of businesses, um, but we know for sure that we're going to be here. Um, our brands are going to be here. We're gonna make it through this thing. And I think the best thing we can be doing is, is planning, talking to our staff, sending updates as, as much as we possibly can right now, keep those communications open. So that's it. I'll link to the blog post. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Cheers.